welcome or welcome back to mas glow i hope you guys are doing great and that you've been keeping safe i've missed you so so much and i'm so excited to be back with another hair video and this particular one is for a hairstyle some of you have seen me rock in some of my previous videos it's something i wanted to show you guys how to achieve for a while so do stay tuned so i'm going to start off by prepping the hair extension and i'm just using regular braids and this is darling's abuja long braids in the color number two i feel like this suits my natural hair color best and i just took it out of the pack and this is what it looks like and i'm going to show you guys how we're going to transform these regular braids into a beautiful hair extension first things first to make life so much easier for myself when i'm preparing this hair piece i'm just going to hook it up onto my door handle you can use a doorknob you can even use like your bed post just somewhere where you can hook it up and pull it out later on and i'm just grabbing one of the two sections and i'm just going to start creating a regular three strand braid and i'm just going to take my time making sure it's as tight as i want it because we're going to unravel this later on and the tighter the braid the curlier the hair extension will be so i'm just going to braid it all the way down So this is what it looks like once it's completely braided all the way down and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other section. Next, I'm just putting some hot water into a basin and I'm going to be dipping that braided hair extension into the hot water for about 30 to 60 seconds and this just helps to seal in the curls and also helps them last much longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. After the 30 to 60 seconds are up, I'm just pulling out the braided hair extension from the water and I'm going to go ahead and dry it with a towel just to remove the excess water and then I'm just going to go ahead and hang it back onto my door handle and just leave it to dry. Now let's go into styling and I actually pre-stretched my hair beforehand because I noticed whenever I want to rock a hairstyle where I need to slick my hair down, it's easier for me to actually lay my hair down when I've pre-stretched my hair. So it is semi-stretched and I'm going to go in with some water just to hydrate and moisturize my strands, especially since we're going to be using gel and I feel like gel can be really dry to your hair at times so I prefer to just go in with some water and then seal in that moisture with an oil today I'll be using Saru Organics avocado oil and now for the main event which is slicking my hair down with gel and I'm using Nice and Lovely's Styling Gel with Extra Firm Hold. I've watched so many raving reviews about this product online so I was like you know what it's about time I try it and this was actually my first time ever trying it. So whenever I'm using gel I like to work in sections and by that I mean I use a little bit of it go onto the area that I want to slick down or lay down and then once i feel like it's laid down well then i get a bit more of the product and add it on to another section that i want to lay down because it's so easy to go harm with gel and i didn't want to over saturate my hair with gel i just wanted to use exactly what i needed so i was moving really slowly taking my time and just applying the product where i felt like i needed it
to help along the slicking down of my hair i'm just grabbing my trusty boa brush and i'm using it to brush through my hair again just taking my time to make sure that my hair is as laid down as i wanted it to be and i'm also focusing on the middle part of my head because that's where i have the most hair and then i'm just going to gather all the hair to the bottom because i was going for a low ponytail and then i'm just securing it with a hairband to protect my ends and also to put my hair away in a sense because again we're going to be hooking up the extension i'm just doing a regular three strand braid on my hair and i'm going to braid it all the way down and then later on i'm just going to go in with some regular hair pins or bobby pins and i'm going to use them to secure the braid into a bun So this will then be a slick down hair tutorial if a scarf didn't feature and I'm just grabbing my scarf and I'm going to use it to just tie it over my head because it's going to help set the gel and I'm also going to give the gel some time to dry off and I'm going to give it about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come right back and show you guys how I add in my hair extension. So once the gel is set down and our braided hair extension is dried out, we're going to hook it up and I'm going to start off by removing the rubber band that comes with the braids in the pack. And then I'm just going to put in my own um, hair band. I just feel like it's much more secure and it will help hold the hair extension onto my head much better and then i'm going to pull down my scarf and you guys will see that the gel is relatively dry and the hair is super laid down and slicked back so it's now time for me to attach the braided hair extension onto my natural hair bun and this part is really really important you guys so you just want to go in and attach the hair band on the braided hair extension onto your bun and then make sure that the hair is sitting on top of the bun and later on i'm going to show you guys why but just make sure it's sitting right on top of the bun and then now we can go in and unravel those beautiful wavy curls So this is why I took my time prepping this hair piece because I wanted these beautiful water wave type beachy curls because I think they're just so beautiful and because they were in a three strand braid they do look a bit chunky so I'm just going to take my time to separate them and I'm also going to go in with a bit of oil just to help add in a bit of shine and to reduce frizz when um, separating the hair. This is what this first section looks like once I've separated the curls and fluffed them out and I'm just going to do the exact same process on the other side and just separate the curls, fluff them out and ah, oh, look at how pretty this hair looks. Like it looks so beautiful and you guys, it's just regular braids. So now I'm going to go in with some hairpins and I'm actually going to use them to secure the hair extension um, 
around my natural hair bun and you remember earlier when i was telling you guys if you're doing this hairstyle to make sure that the hair extension drapes over the bun that's because we're actually going to use the hair that falls over the natural hair or the bun to cover it up so that's why it's really important that the hair falls above the bun and not under it and finally, because I was feeling a little extra on this day, I grabbed my Cantu Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. And it's actually more of a hair wax or edge wax than it is a gel. It does have a thick consistency. And I'm just going to use this to lay down my edges. I do like to put a bit of it on my hand just to warm it up and help spread it out a bit better. And then I'm grabbing my edges toothbrush and i'm just going to grab a bit of product and use that to lay down my edges that's it this is the final look of my slicked back low faux pony hairstyle which i am totally in love with and i've been rocking for the past year and a half i will definitely love to know what you guys think so feel free to comment in the comment section down below and if you're going to try this hairstyle be sure to tag me i would love to see it i do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video my penzi tele